students we will see with some inverse laplace transform basic problems now find the inverse laplace transform of 1 upon s plus 2 plus 3 upon 2s plus 5 minus 4 upon 3s minus 2 therefore l inverse of 1 upon s plus 2 plus 3 upon 2s plus 5 minus 4 upon 3s minus 2 will be given as since plus and minus sign is there, split the terms for this term, this term and this term that is L, opera, L inverse operator. So L inverse of 1 upon S plus 2 plus L inverse of 3 upon 2S plus 5 minus L inverse of 4 upon 3S minus 2. Here 3 is a constant so remove it outside. I told you coefficient of S must be 1 coefficient of s must be 1 so remove this 2 outside so it will become s plus 5 by 2 here also 3 is constant so a coefficient of s must be 1 so take 3 common 4 is acting as a constant remove it outside so l inverse of 1 upon s minus 2 by 3 if you see in all the three cases power of s is 1 power of s is 1 and coefficient of s is constant okay that is 1. Hence, whenever power of s is 1 means your answer must be in terms of e to the power of clue to be remembered. Okay. Here plus sign is there. So, we know that L inverse of 1 upon s plus a is e raised to minus a t. Now, how much is a a here? Minus 2. Plus of minus. Okay. It will become e raised to minus 2 t. 3 by 2 you keep it as it is. Again, this answer must be in terms of e. So, it will become e raised to minus 5 by 2 t because your plus sign is there. Minus 4 by 3 as it is, it will become e raised to a t. a t is how much? 2 by 3 t. So, this is the solution for the given. Next, second problem. L inverse of s plus 2 upon s square plus 36 plus 4 s minus 1 upon s square plus 25. Now, I will try to split here in the numerator there is a combination of two terms. So, try to split these combinations. So, it will become s upon s square plus 36. Whenever you get a combination in the numerator try to split out. So, s upon s square plus 36 plus L inverse of 2 upon s square plus 36 plus 4s upon s square plus 25 minus L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 25. So, s upon s square plus 6 square. Okay, 36 means 6 square. 2 is acting as a constant, remove it outside. So, it will become 2 into L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 6 square because 36 will be written as 6 square. 4 you remove outside. So, L inverse of s upon s square plus 5 square. Minus L inverse of 1 upon S square plus 5 square. Yes is there means answer must be in terms of cos or sine. Sorry cos trigonometric function or hyperbolic function. So here plus sign is there so it is cos term. Coefficient of S square is 1 power of S is 2. So it is cos of. So cos of 80 that is 60. Plus 2 you write it as it is. Here constant term is there, denominator is having s power s2 and coefficient of s is 1. Whenever constant term is there means it is sine function. Plus sine is there so it is a trigonometric function that is sine. What is your a? It is 6 square means a is 6. So it has to have 6 and which is not there. So write here sine 60 upon 6. Plus 4 as it is, yes upon your x s square is there coefficient of s square is 1 means it is cos term plus sign is there so so cos 80 constant term is there plus sign is there s yes, square is there and coefficient of s square is 1 means it is sine term what is not there in the numerator 5 is not there so divided by 5 finally simplify and that will be the answer for the given ok next third problem L inverse of 2s minus 5 upon 4s square plus 25 plus 8 minus 6s upon 16s square plus 9. 
I told you all to split the numerator. So 2s upon the denominator minus L inverse of 5 upon the denominator plus L inverse of 8 upon the denominator minus L inverse of 6x upon denominator. Yes, only has to be there. This 2 is acting as a constant, so remove outside. Coefficient of s square should be 1. It is 4, so remove this 4 common. So 2 by 4 L inverse of s upon s square plus 25 by 4 because we are taking 4 common. Minus 5 is acting as a constant. You can remove it outside. And 4 is the coefficient which we don't want. So remove it outside. So it will become 5 by 4. L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 25 by 4. Plus 8 constant, 16 constant. Coefficient of s square 16 should not be there. Take it outside. So 8 by 16. L inverse of 1 upon s square plus 9 by 16. Minus 6 upon 16 you take it common. So L inverse of s as it is. S square plus 9 by 16. So simplifying for this 25 by 4 can be written as 5 by 2 the whole square. 5 by 2 the whole square. 3 by 4 the whole square. 3 by 4 the whole square. Whose answer is this? Cos because your plus sign is there. So cos 5 by 2 t. This is sine function which numerator has to have 5 by 2. Do you have 5 by 2 here? No. So divided by the answer. This is again sine. This is cos. So I have simplified form here. So this becomes 1 by 2 L inverse of S upon S square plus 5 by 2 the whole square minus 5 by 4. L inverse of 1 upon S square plus 5 by 2 the whole square plus 1 by 2 L inverse of 1 upon S plus 3 by 4 the whole square minus 3 by 8 L inverse of S upon S square plus 3 by 4 the whole square. So 1 by 2 cos of 5 by 2 T minus 5 by 4. Here numerator had to have 5 by 2 constant term is there so. It is not there, so write sine of 5 by 2 t upon 5 by 2. Plus 1 by 2 as it is, this is sine of 3 by 4 t upon 3 by 4. Minus 3 by 8 as it is, this becomes cos of 3 by 4 t. Simplifying the terms here, this term will remain as it is. This 5 and this 5 will get cancelled. Here it will become 2 1s are 2 2s are, so 1 by 2 sine of 5 by 2 into t. 2 1s are 2 2s are. This 2 will come in the numerator. So 2 by 3 sine of 3 by 4 t. Here 3 by 8 cos. Have a cos of 3 by 4 t. Next. L inverse of. S plus 2 the whole cube upon S raised to 6. First we need to simplify the function by applying A plus B the whole cube formula. A cube plus B cube plus 3 A square B. 3 a square means S square. B is 2. So 3 2s are 6 S square. Plus 3 A B square. B square is 4. 4 into 3 it is 12 S. Upon S raised to 6. Plus sign is there. So and single term is in the denominator. Try to split the terms. So I have splitted the denominator to each of the term. Simplified. Now this is in the form of S cube means it is 2 plus 1. Because N plus 1 is 3. So n is 2. So 2 plus 1. 3 plus 1. Here it is 4 plus 1. 5 plus 1. This is as good as t square. n is 2. So t square upon n factorial. 6 as it is t cube upon n factorial. Plus 12 as it is t raised to 4 upon 4 factorial. Plus 8 as it is t raised to 5 upon 5 factorial. Simplify the factorials that will be the answer for the given. Some more problem we will see in the next video. Thank you.